If you want to create LinkedIn posts in seconds that still sound human, you're going to love this LinkedIn post generator. Step number one, click the link in the description to open up AI Carousels, who are the amazing sponsors of this video and the tool I personally use to write and format my text posts on LinkedIn. You can try it absolutely free. And once you fall in love with the tool like I have, you can use code Bendy15 for 50% off your first month. Step number two, add your source content. And you're gonna go ahead and click the Create Carousel button or sign into your account. Then you're going to click LinkedIn Post Formatter and Generator and generate a post. From here, you want to give AI carousels your source material. So this could be text, a blog URL, a YouTube video, a PDF you throw in, or even you could actually load a carousel you have created before in the past. Though here is an important part. Please, please do not select the topic option because nobody wants to hear regurgitated ideas from other people's opinions on the web. You want to put in your own ideas into this tool and give it something of yours even if it's a very rough brain dump or a voice memo you recorded to yourself and then transcribed it, just simply drop it underneath text over here. You want to give it your own juice so you don't sound like everyone else on the internet. I'm going to add my YouTube video over here and now it's time for step number three, select your template. So I'm going to go ahead and click over here and you're going to see that Fernando has collected so many outstanding templates for you to make your job easier. And what you really want to do is click through to these different tabs, play around with them and see which ones resonate with you the most. The moment, by the way, you like something that you see, you want to go ahead and actually star it and then it's going to be displayed underneath your favorite templates. Personally, I like this template a lot. I also use this one quite a bit and this here as well. So I think in this instance, I'm just gonna play around with selecting this. So you see it's selected a template, it has my URL for YouTube, and now we're gonna go ahead and click generate a post from video. So AI Carousels just generated the first version of our post, and if you can see and look over here, I actually like it quite a bit. Now, first thing I want you to do from the get-go is actually select mobile. How does this post look on mobile? Because Personally, I am not a fan of big bulky paragraphs or LinkedIn or too many emojis or overlapping lines. I actually want to make sure that nothing is overlapping. And now if we actually look at over here, you know, upload my template, this one word own elements, these are overlapping in the next line. So I would actually play around with making sure I can shorten these lines so they do not overlap. I'm, I'm a stickler for this. Though I want to mention a very important thing, you can rerun this as many times as you want. So if you're feeling like, you know what, I kind of like this but it's not like 100% for me, first of all what you do want to do is click save. Just so you have it, you can go back to it just in case you're like, actually I want to revert everything back to version 1. So at any point, and you can do this again as many times as you want, you can click generate a post and just rerun this with the same template or we can play around with using a different one. So I'm just gonna rerun it, same template, let's see what happens. So here is the second version of our post and the hook for your post always is the part that shows up above the see more button. And again, if I look this on desktop, then the hook, these two lines look great. However, again on mobile, the second line is cropped off and you never want to crop off your actual hook, which is literally 90% of your post. So I would absolutely be shortening this line up. So want to create stunning carousels on LinkedIn, too many influencers spend hours designing one slide. Too many influencers spend hours I could either bring this back, designing one slide, into spend hours dot dot dot, designing one, and I could like all caps this, designing one slide. And maybe like I would add an emoji, which is like a screaming face or something. If you look at the mobile view on the right hand side, you can see that nothing is overlapping in the second line, which I love. So when it comes to actual formatting, like I'm really pleased with how clean all of this is. Step number four, formatting. If you've been noticing people using all these arrows in their posts, but you're not quite sure where do they find these, let me share the secret with you. In the description below, you're gonna find this exact page. And these are basically Unicodes that you can copy and paste and use in your own content. So for example, like these arrows are being used a lot. So I'm just gonna copy this here, go back to AR Carousels and do this. So um, use my bonus PDF template link in the comments. Now you can also apply formatting in this tool, meaning if you wanted to bold something, you could literally select it and bold it as so. I'm gonna be honest, personally, I do not like to bold things in the actual copy, though there are a couple of things I do use a lot. For example, if I select this, I could change the order of this just to improve readability to be from shortest to longest. So if I click this, 
You see, it just reordered all my bullets to be from shortest to longest, same as here. Or of course, we can do the exact opposite. I could do this, longest to shortest. So it's just super easy for you to play around with the formatting and see again on the right hand side exactly how the whole thing looks. Notice that in between every line of text we have over here, there's actually a blank line. There is a space. So we are really spacing out your copy and no lines are overlapping. And if you do have bullets, only in those instances, I'm not going to have a space in between those lines because it's actually easier to digest bullets when they are together like this. So the most important part of your post is your hook. What appears above the same more button? And the second thing you absolutely want to do is format your post. So forget long bulky paragraphs of text. They're absolutely unreadable. So please introduce bullet points, space things out. Don't have overlapping lines. Make it easy for someone to digest your text post. Step number five, upload on LinkedIn. So you always want to save your post over here so you can return to it later on. You're going to click copy to clipboard like so. And now we're going to go and head over to LinkedIn. We're going to click start a post and simply paste the super nicely formatted copy that we have over here. Now, rather than publishing your text post on its own, I actually highly recommend that you add a real photo to it or a carousel because that seems to perform better on LinkedIn. So if you want to learn more about that, I'm going to link a video about that up here in the cards. So go ahead and click the link down in the description to try AI Carousels absolutely for free. And of course, also use code Venny15 to get 15% off your first month. If you found this video helpful, I would so appreciate if you could do me a massive favor and hit that subscribe button down below. We have a big juicy goal hitting 100k subscribers on YouTube by the end of this year. I am totally off track, but I would so, so appreciate your support if you could hit that button below. If you want my support with growing your business on LinkedIn, definitely get inside of our free LinkedIn profile makeover. I run weekly Zoom workshops inside of it every single Thursday, helping you generate more inbound leads on LinkedIn. So go ahead and join us right now. If you enjoyed this video and you want to learn more about AI carousels, definitely check out this video next on how to create stunning carousel posts on LinkedIn. So go ahead, click over here, and I'm going to see you there.